Hey guys, today I want to show you how I make from this aluminium go-kart rim a carbon fiber rim with a two-piece mold which I made from aluminium. Before we start I just wanted to mention that I'm currently a bit ill so my voice might sound a bit weird and also my English might not be the best since this isn't my first language. So with that let's start. First I want to show you the rim which is currently used on go-karts or on mine and all the difficult parts which makes it quite hard to make out of carbon fiber. Two factors. This rim has here the center boring which is very precise because on the go-kart this is where the uh, rim gets centered that it uh, is balanced. These three holes are just to secure the rim on the wheel hub. Then we have here a valve to pump the tire up. On this side you can see we have here on the left and on the right a little offset where the where the tire is put on. That's because on the on the go-kart when you drive really hard through corners the wheel can slip off to the middle and lose the air and so you basically can't drive anymore. This will be later on machined on a lathe and yes this is basically the rim. So now you know basically how the wheel should look like in the end so or a little bit different. And now I'm gonna show you the aluminium mold I made for it. So here's the aluminium mold I made. It was turned on a lathe and well from the top you can't see really much. I turn it to the side. Now you see the profile or the mold itself. It's currently a bit dirty as you can see here because I just used it for the first uh, rim. So basically it is a split mold. We have this half here and this half here and they are bolted together with this bolt. So they hold together and make uh, this white here exactly what it should be. On the top we have here a connector for the vacuum hose. This is from uh, Easy Composites. Same as my pre-prack uh, that I use. I use the X, uh, XC 110 uh, 410 grams uh, 2x2 twill. And you might wonder how I get the air from here to inside the mold to uh, pump the air out basically. Normally you will, would put your bag over your part or let me show you a normal mode so I can show it to you. So this is your normal, I say normal, normally most of the people use probably not an aluminium mold but I do. So normally you have your mold flat and then you put your bag over it like this for example and then you're gonna use these things. You're gonna unscrew them, put this one inside the bag, the, cut the bag open and put this top on and then you can uh, pump the vacuum with your vacuum pump. But on my mold it is a bit different, let me just show you. So back to my mold, I also use the bag which I uh, lay here and here so it goes over it. As you can see here I have three markings. So what are these markings for? They basically show me where I pull the air out. So here is a boring. The boring goes inside here and then you see here this ring I made and there are three holes around the mold and basically if I pull here the air out 
they are connected and it pulls there out and the bag goes over here until here so it pulls here the vacuum well basically it is just that i don't have to use every time these things but with these uh, with these sometimes it's hard to get it uh, airtight so i made it like this so i don't have to i can leave this closed basically and yeah it makes it a bit more easier so let's pull the mold apart to show you how the uh, two halves look so now we here have here the two halves i call this now the bottom part and this the upper part so on the bottom part it's quite easy it's basically the shape from this to the middle and then i have here i don't know if you can see it quite good i have here a precision hole where this pin goes this pin goes in both sides so that uh, both sides are centered and then i have a a thread down for just the bolt so that's easy for this side on this side same with the centering bolt and then i have here if you can see this this round ring here this is where i put the we call it o-ring as o-wing i don't know what you call it it's just to ma uh, make everything airtight so i put it in and it stands a bit over you probably can't even see 0 0.3 millimeters so when the mold is bolted together the uh, the left or the bottom half and the upper half are airtight so then we also have here a thread this thread is basically just for unmolding the mold when it uh, is stuck still when the carbon fiber part is still stuck to the part so i can bolt in a bolt and and hammer it out softly of course yeah and well here you can also see, uh, see this little distance here and this builds basically here this center hole which is of course uh, not the final uh, diameter i made this a bit uh, smaller so the final diameter is gonna be made on the cnc mill so let's put them aside now i show you the first carbon part i made from it the first was really bad so this was the first rim as you can see it looks not like this oh sorry it looks not like this why is that well first of all it's in two pieces and as you can see here something broke out it doesn't look too good not really the problem was uh, i'm i used pre brake which was basically too old i used older pre brake i had it laying around and well i wanted to use it before it expires but it was already expired so that was one of the reasons second of the reason was the the mold wasn't airtight i didn't check it right put it in the oven and when i put it out the vacuum was gone and also these holes were full with resin which was the reason why the vacuum was gone i basically put the carbon fiber too close to the holes they were uh, as it got heated up the resin went into it and vacuum was gone so this part pretty much was not good the last few days i made another one with fresh cum fiber and it turned out much better let me show it to you this is now the better looking part don't wonder why it's damaged i also cut it apart to see what it looks like inside so we can basically open the two halves first of all i wanted to show you how it looks from the outside i already as you can see did here the left rock i put it on the left and turned down here 
but I wanted to try how it fits on a on a tire, but also the tire was really really old. So basically, I uh, damaged here the side, and uh, as I damaged it, I thought I also have to cut one to see how the wall thickness and everything looks. So this is basically my part where I can show everything. The next part is probably the part I can also use on a go-kart when everything goes right. But this part looks much better. If you see here the wall thickness, here this is the thickness on the mold which is created here with this. As you can see, it lays like this. This is 3.5 millimeters. And then this is also pretty good. This is around 2.5 millimeters thickness. But where I have to make some differences is here on the outer side. It's just too small. Yeah, especially here where the tire presses against the rim. I have to make it a bit more thicker, one or two layers. The one layer is approximately 0.45 millimeters. So this currently has, I don't know if you can see it, 1.86 millimeters. So this is just too thin. And over this, from here to here, it is a straight. And a straight is never that good. And the longer it is, the more it tends to bend over here. On this side, I see no problem. It is from here to here very short. There's a radius, there's a radius. Just these small straight lines. But well, that's not gonna bend anywhere. But still I uh, also make here a layer more. The rest looks basically really good. Where I really had concerns and also heard from others here these tight corners. This is a one millimeter radius, same on this side, that it turned out that good. Because laying carbon fiber over 90 degree edge is really not that's what carbon fiber wants to do. So you really have to press it with vacuum uh, against it. And as you can see here in the mold, here is this tight radius where I have to put it over. Same, of course, on the other side. So here. But this, as it looks like, is not my biggest problem. What also makes this mold kind of hard or let's say the part not the mold as you can see the pieces that i cut from pre-break are quite well in the end that's a lot of pieces i have to cut you can see here starts the piece and it ends right here so to get on one side to get laid it one times around you have to cut 10 little pieces because well as you can see this is not a straight line it has an uh, angle so you can't just cut here a straight and lay it around that's not gonna work because it will overlap like this if you know what i mean so later you will probably see it when i cut the prepack but you have to really cut a lot of pieces to get it and the more thickness you want the more pieces you have to cut i also want to show you how i cut it so i have this uh, templates made well that just out of cardboard but i mean it worked until now <laughs> so of course it would be much better to uh, cut it out on a CNC cutter or anything, but well, you gotta be on a budget, right? So the first two layers, which I always make is this ring. And it's basically this 
and on the other half also here the uh, top side and this basically makes just here this and this it's just optical you don't have to do it but it looks better in my opinion the just the optical layer which I use even though I don't look too much after the optic on this part it is more important for me that it works and it is a good part in the end than that it looks good then we have this part and this is for the <laughs> the downside uh, mold it's basically how it works it goes here until to the ring from the other side that you have to be careful with and that's basically from here to this edge I don't know if you can see it right here's the edge and then this long straight is then like this and then under here it goes straight because there is no angle on it and then it goes here out so why do I lay it like this you might ask and why I don't lay it when it's together just over this and fill up the gap with just these well you could do that but it brings a lot more stiffness into the part when the carbon fiber goes basically from here to the inside so the carbon fiber is not just going like this as you might think it goes like this and goes into here so this is basically a part with this and this with this and the final layers only go here from here so all is packed together and well the second the smaller one is just for the other side but basically the same goes from here 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 here's like this and on this side I have to be careful that the carbon fiber isn't too close to any of the holes or to this uh, little ring that I made on the lathe if it goes too close the resin will flow into the vacuum and the vacuum is gone and I can throw away the part I think that should be all for the mold and well let's get started with cutting the pre-break I would say <laughs> 